Hello everybody, uh, my name is Chris over here at Chubby Shalom with TCG. Uh, thank you for watching this video, first of all. Uh, I've got something that's kind of special for you guys today. Uh, I have here 102 Sun and Moon of the new set, Guardians Rising Packs. I'm making a quick little video to open them up for you. Uh, see what we pull, see what I can find out, see what I can get from these. So, we're going to start cracking these open. And, uh, there's a lot of good cards in this set, honestly, when it all comes down to it. Um, a lot of this will be new. Ultra of the Sun is interesting. Fire, Metal, 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 have no weakness. Um, could be good. I don't really like defensive stadiums because they can be countered. This is interesting, too. Uh, search your deck for any two cards, put them on top of your deck. If you have any other draw effects, like a, a node or anything like that, um, it just kind of combos well with that. Um, I could, it could see some niche play. Uh, let's see what I got though, rare wise. Starting off with a chandelier. Uh, could be better, could be worse. And a hotchcrow. Uh, this card's interesting. Uh, the D, it's a DC attack 10 plus 10 for each damage counter on all your opponents above one. Uh, people are talking about it with like the new Tabu Coco promo where it does 20 spread and everything. I just to stack it up a couple times. Or like uh, even like Decidueye or even stuff like that could be really, really solid with it. Um, but we'll see. Uh, let's open up another one, see what we find. Alright, another reverse altar in the side. The rest of it's kind of eh. Uh, and a goth top. Not very good. Got a lot to go though, so. It'll be good. Max Potion. Aqua Patch is interesting too. It's like Dark Patch from back in the day, but it attaches to Water Book 1 and Water Energy. Um. I don't know how good this will be, um, just because there's a lot of, like, it could be good with Nine Tails, it could be good with Lapras, uh, Primarina GX, it could be alright with, you know, that kind of thing. But, uh, I don't know, like, it had, might have a good place in the meta game, but we'll see. Uh, let's see what my rare is. Uh, Kokomo GX. Uh, could be, actually, it's pretty bad, so. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything like that. Alright. Uh, this is an interesting stadium. Uh, basically, each player can search their deck for a water or a fighting basic and put it on their bench. It's nice for, like, good example would be, like, Lapras can get more Lapras is out. Obviously, Rough Season's better, but, um, could be a little niche, uh, depending, like, if Pretty Marina was good, that'd probably be the stadium, maybe combo with Rough Seas, just to kind of help you set up. Or even, like, uh, fighting stuff like Zygarde, or, like, even if, like, uh, Lycan Rocket's good, this could be really good at that. Um, let's see what I got rare wise. Uh, Blue Dollar, uh, it's decent. Uh, if that car, if the GX gets good, this could be a good little niche tech with it. We'll see. And any of the looks not good. All right, well, <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Got plenty more. A lot of this stuff is new. This one I think is better. Alter of the Moon. Uh, basically, what this is is it. Makes Psychic and fight it, or Psychic and Dark rather, uh, Pokemon have two retreat costs less. If they have it, that specific type of energy attached, sorry. Um, but this one's good because it is an active stadium. So whatever you do, what I mean by that, by that basically means reactive stadiums and there's active stadiums. Active stadium is you get the effect of the stadium as soon as you drop it. Reactive stadiums are stadiums that could be good, like like for example, like the no weakness. Uh, that's a reactive stadium because you're relying on not them ha having a counter to it in order for it to be able to affect. So, uh, but it could have some niche. Uh, an Oricorio, not the right, not a good one, but uh, we'll see. Could be decent and maybe Volcania, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, nothing exciting here. Each year, Pokemon ha has energy, can be affected by special conditions. Uh, could be niche if, like, uh, like the Thalazzle gets big, or any, like, maybe Ice Beam GX stuff gets rid of it. Uh, Max Potion. Oh, Garbodor. This card is... I've been hearing a lot about this card. Really, really good. Uh, 20 times the number of items in your opponent's discard pop. So, decks like Mega Ray, Volcania, Turbo Dark, like everything in this format right now is very, very rush based. So, this kind of punishes that because they have like eight or nine, uh, eight or nine items in their discard, turn two, turn three. And 
you just evolve your Garbo, attach a Psychic, attach a Choice Band, hit for 240, like 250, turn one, like, and there's nothing they can do to stop it because all that stuff is in their discard pile now. So I think it'll, and I think it'll affect a lot of how people play the game ultimately because if they see a Trubbish, they'll, they'll have to really, really be careful on what items they play. But it's also hard to do that when everything is just so item based now. Like every deck in this format is so item based. It's so that's that's the engine is it runs on items. So it's going to be interesting to see how people change their list to counteract that, as well as also just playing around it in general. Because um, there are certain ways you can play around it, playing less items, just not discarding items, Ultra Ball, that kind of stuff like that. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. And Talon Flame, uh, that's not very, that's not very good. There's a lot of cards in this set. A lot of interesting cards, but a lot of cards nonetheless. This is one card I mentioned, uh, Choice Band is really, really solid. Uh, it's an item card, it's a tool. 30 more to GX and EX Pokemon, so a lot of good stuff in this format uh, is EX or GX at this point. The only thing is like, maybe like, Stage 1s, like Zip Mesp McQueen, Zorark, Zip Strike, uh, um, there's plenty others, but uh, this gives you a kind of a good edge against it. Uh, I think this will be kind of more standard than Fighting Fury Bill in this format because this gives you more damage. And with Field Blower being in this format, the the plus 40 HP, it's kind of a reactive, it's a reactive condition, the 40 HP. If they tool remove it, if they field blower it, it's not gonna be in a play anymore. You don't get the plus 40, it'll make it so where you could get one shot it, for example, if you had the belt and it could get one shot it before. So I think this will ultimately be the switch that people go to is playing more choice band, maybe playing the split. I don't really know. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, another good card is the Pseudo Uno. Uh, if your opponent can't play, have more than four bench on play, and they have more than four, they have to discard. So it's basically like a parallel that you just draw. And I like this card because there's a deck like Mega Ray, like Mega Gurney where they just load their bench up and you just punish them for it uh, just by dropping this card. And then you can also, you can find ways to get rid of it. Like the card itself is not good. Once you drop it, this actually might be really good in, in Guardy because if you drop it, uh, you drop it on, it's basically just a tech for Mega Ray. You drop it, they go down to four, and then you discard it with uh, Despair Ray. Uh, it could be good. Um, we'll see what happens. If Mega Ray gets huge, this card could be popular. Uh, just because of how popular it could be. Same with like Volcanian. Like I mean, obviously they'll just get rid of Shades, they'll get rid of Hoopas, they'll get rid of whatever else. But I mean, it could be all right. And the Corio, that's not very good. And I'm just kind of taking some time to explain things, you know. Like I just want to really get the way how I feel like, about the game, just really into what I'm saying here. Okay? Another Hunch Crow. Um, but I don't know. The set's very interesting, for sure. Oh, and Lola Nine Tails GX. That's pretty good. Um, stage one, the baby or the 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 Vulpix is good because it has a free attack that searches for. I think believe it's two Pokemon. It might be one. It might be two. Uh, but th that can be really good for setup. You can just get this. You get something else. Um, it could be really solid. Uh, it's a DC attack for fifty anywhere. That's good. Um, and then two water and a colors for one sixty. Discard two. It could be all right. That's one thing that, like Aqua Patch, it combos well with. You discard it, you patch it. Um, but at the same time, like with sixty is not really hard, really all that like, good of a number right now. Uh, with Kukui, it's like one eighty, and then uh, it could be good. But it's one of those things where it time will tell more than anything. It could just be really tanky with like rough seas and just heavy, heavy healing and discard the energy and then. Basically, that max potion, aqua patch, and whatever else. But um, and then his GX attack could also play into that too, where basically you load up the damage on the nine tails and then you just move it over like Mewtwo does. Um, so I don't know. It could be interesting. It could be good, but at the same time, only time will tell in how this format will evolve. And and there's not much here. Okay, that's not very good. That's not very good either. All right. Still got about 90 packs left. Pretty solid. Um, oh, that's the card. This is a card I mentioned too. Field Blower. Um, this was a card back in the day called Windstorm, 
Whitstorm was very, very good back in its day, and I think this card is even better than it, than it was, because this card is in a format where it doesn't have much of its kind. Um, I think even back in that format, there wasn't a whole lot that could discard stadiums or discard uh, tools other than it, but... I think the tools are a lot more prevalent in this format. Like there was the Station Crystal back then, which was which was a huge thing. Like people had to play with Star Wars Station, um, also because of stuff like Curse Powder and other stadiums that just destroy people. But I feel like with this card in this format, it's going to be very, very. It's going to be very, very format breaking. It, I think it's one of the best cards in the set, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this and the Lele, I think, are the two best cards in the set. But um, this just gives a lot of decks the option. And the other thing, too, is that Garbodor is big. Um, this is a good way to shut down Garbodor. Plain and simple. Uh, just field blow their tools away. If you play two to three of these, they play three to four Floatstone now. They're probably going to go up to four now because of this, because they have to recycle tools. They may even start playing Eco Arm. I, I, I doubt it, but you never know. Um, but it's definitely one of those things where it'll give you that edge against it. It's even one term like Volcania, for example, just feel blowing away a garbage that's just triple steaming up, knocking out a dark ride or something. Or even feel blowing away EXP shares and knocking them out. Like that there's just a lot of combinations that of this card that makes this just really, really good. Uh, let's see what we got here on rares. Not very good. And a Vika Volt GX, uh, I was thinking about this card. Like I actually pulled three of these in real life, like a full uh, between the two and a half boxes that me and my brother got, but I think with this card, if the two other stages are lightning or grass rather with forest, like I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the case. I haven't seen the other two, but if it is the case, that could be decent. But it might be better next format when everything is a lot more slow. It's very possible. Keep it in mind. Uh, in this format, though, I think it's a little bit too slow uh, with everything else that's that's really good in this format. Another field blower, that's good. And another Lunala. Not too... So, so far, only two... I think it's only two GXs so far, the Kokomo and the, and the Night Tales. This card's interesting. Uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, uh, draw four, but if you've used your GX attack, you can draw seven. So, it's good for decks like, like Solgaleo, this card will be really good at that, like, because you get the turn to Soul Bar Burn Off, or Soul Burst, rather, and they always get seven cards off of it. Like, that seems pretty solid. But I don't know, like, if there's any other GX attacks that happen what turn one, turn two, maybe Bad Bull GX could be a good way, too, because a lot of people like to play Tauros early, early. Could be good, but, I mean, I don't know. A lot of people are kind of giving it discredit. It could be all right, but I kind of doubt it. Um, it, this is an interesting stadium too. Uh, basic grass and lightning Pokemon take thirty less damage from attacks. Um, it's all right. Uh, lightning has rough seas anyways, and I think rough seas is kind of better than this, uh, just because it always heals thirty. And with this stadium, if they feel blow it away, or if they they, they counter it, like I said, it's a reactive a, a reactive stadium. So when they counter it, it's not going to do anything. Versus when. Versus, like I said, an active one where it, you get an effect of it of, on your turn, basically. Uh, but grass, the grass effect could be all right because there's, but at the same time, there's forest, so forest is always pretty much gonna be better. And this is only for basics, which there's not really a whole lot of grass basics right now, uh, other than like Tremit, but I don't think you play stuff about that. Um, I've heard this card is being talked about a little bit. Uh, basically, when you evolve it, you heal eighty from your active. It could be all right. Um, it could be it could be a good way to like make takey things even takier, and then like, like with demo sprays and like stuff like that, I could actually see that being decent. Um, but uh, I, I think people would have to be a little creative with it to see what happens. But I mean, it could be all right. And Tapu Coco GX, this is a good card. Uh, I th I think this card's good at least. Basically, what this card does is when you play it, you can move any move energies to it. And then make it as your new active from anywhere. So let's say you have like one on your active, one on a bench, and one on another bench. You can drop it, move all three to it, and move it to the active. Um, and then the attacks are like three for one thirty, and then it's GX attacks fifty times the number of energy they have to play, which is all right. Like it's it, it'll one shot most things um, in this format. 
I think the big appeal with this card, though, is the fact that A, it's Lightning. Uh, Lightning is not really a good type right now. It has no weakness. That's also really, really strong. It could get itself out of Lysander traps. So, like, if they... Basically, if they try to Lysander up anything, you just drop another one and just move it up. It's not going to matter. Um, and then, on top of that, it also plays, like, heavy rough seas. And, like, heavy, like, max potions and stuff, too. Like... It could be good, like I said. It, it could have it has a lot of potential, but I think there's some decks that will beat it. Like if anything, play like play Garb. Uh, you have to play Heavy Field Blower for it. Could be all right, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but it's definitely something I would probably consider playing, at least testing, of course. Um, okay, nothing much here. And a Swallow. That's not bad. Eh, no, no, it's bad. <laughs> That's bad. That's just bad. All right. Let's pull some good stuff. Another card. I'll take that. Again, card broken. Um, took a good amount of time explaining it, but it's very solid. I think it's going to change the way how people will play uh, because people just don't want to play in that, into that. It's just hard. It's just hard. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, and with 100 packs, you got to expect some duds, but, like, I don't know. This card's interesting. Basically, you attach it. As long as it's active, you attach, or whatever, you attach energy to it, to it it's asleep. Uh, it is now asleep. And this just does 100. The only reason why I say it's interesting is because it's uh, colorless, but I don't know. Uh, Recycler's good. Like, this stuff's all right. Like, the, the look at the top seven, grab an energy. I like the fact that it's any energy, so like special energies and stuff, it can be really good. Um, just good ways to like search out your deck for energy. Uh, and then shuffle, shuffle five basics is good. Um, super odd stuff is in the format too, but this is an interesting card. It's the Solgaleo. The basically the this is a Solgaleo non GX and then a Lavella non GX. I've already pulled two of those, but um, two for fifty to anything, and then three for one seventy. You can't use it. It'll be nice in Solgaleo decks maybe. It would be like a one of it's just like a niche attacker. But maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Gold is not that good. He takes way too much stuff. <laughs> gotta keep your possibilities open, but you also gotta be realistic at the same time. The Rokoria, the Lightning one, uh, it's, eh, no. It's, it's not that good, honestly. Alright, let's see. Turtonator. What does this guy do? If your opponent has, if your opponent's active has no damage counters on him before this type does damage, this type does nothing. Oh, that's bad. Alright. I'm almost out of my locked packs. That's good. Um, hopefully, there's a difference between these locked packs. Oh, I got a gold energy. Solid. Don't really need gold energy. Hopefully, I can trade it. But I just, I don't know. I don't really like that stuff. Especially online, it just doesn't make sense to me. I like this card a lot, Rescue Stretcher. Uh, I think this is going to be a lot of a decks will a lot. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, a lot of decks will incorporate this into their decks because you have the ability to choose one Pokemon, put it in your hand, or shuffle three back into the deck. So, good example would be like Mega Ray for Dragonite, broken, um, or like Vespa Queen. If you need like a one one Vespa Queen line back, you can shuffle it. Or if you just need one piece of it, you just put it back into your hand. Gives you that ability. Um, it also kind of gives you the ability to, like, it, other decks, too, basically just get you, like, maybe, like, a Shaman or a Hoopa back or just a Tapu Lele, maybe even. Like, just get it back and then just uh, grab whatever you need, Lysander for game, whatever else. Um, or it can just give you more cards if you need that or if you need, like, more lines of something, like, for example, like a 1-1 one -one Ray or line of a Hoopa or something like that. So, card has a lot of potential. I'd probably consider playing it. Baby Drampa. I like this card. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be strong enough, though. It's basically, it's a Tornadus. Uh, 3 for 80 and move the energy back. And then it's attack, searches for an energy. Which is alright. Like, it, it could be good, but... I think the GX is way better. E-Hammer was reprinted. I got another Aqua Patch. That's good. Uh, this is interesting, kind of. Uh, basically, it's just three fighting for 190, and it knocks itself out. Sweet to lightning, it's only 70 HP. 
if it was like fighting a DCE, I think it'd be kind of decent just because it's those like two turns, you just like fuck it, or sorry, you just one shot. But um, maybe even Digivoy into it, like Zygarde? I don't know. It could be alright. And another Chandler, that's kind of. Yeah. Anything exciting? Another choice band? That's a rough choice band, that's good. Another Drapa, maybe. Can I get a regular? Can I get a GX Drapa? That would be great. At least one or a top of Lele? That'd be good too. Turtonator. Oh, speak of the devil, I got a top of Lele. Busted. Card's so good. So, its ability drop it, grab any supporter from your deck. Lysander, Hex, Ed, Sycamore, all that stuff comes to mind. And you can just grab whatever you want, whatever you want it. Amazing. Um, its attack is alright too. Um, it's basically a Mewtwo, 20 times the number of energy on both actives, but it doesn't apply weakness or resistance. But it doesn't have weakness or resistance either, so it kind of evens out in a way. Like, basically, it just kind of gives you like a neutral attacker uh, for a DC. And if you're playing Psychic, this GX attack is alright too. You heal uh, all damage from two bench Pokemon. Uh, just like they're sitting there and just have like massive amounts just kill both. Uh, I don't think we'll see much of that uh, unless it's like psychic decks of course and they try to be taky about it or they just like heavy retreat and they just like it's like niche to just get rid of it for the damage but the ability I think is what we'll see it played in everything because it's just so it makes everything so consistent. I need to end this turn and I have the means to do it with an ultra ball now like that's so that's really good like it gives us another form of consistency, and I think that's one of the things that Pokemon needs more of, because it reduces the variance, and more skill is involved. So, pull one of those. Very happy about that. Hopefully I can pull at least one more. I'm hoping. <laughs> I doubt it, but I'm hoping. Nope. Alright. Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Your opponent attacks and abilities can't put damage counters. That's interesting. So it's just like kind of like gets rid of Decidueye and stuff too. Um, uh, I don't think people will play it, but I mean, it's interesting to think about at least. Okay, that's us. That's not good. Yep, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of duds. There's another field blower. I got three of those turtles. That's good. At least I pulled one Lele. I heard a lot of people, some people just couldn't play out of these. So at least getting one's good. But um, while I'm kind of sifting through some junk, I'll just kind of tell you a little bit about myself. Oh, there's another Coco. Nice. Again, the card's really good. Pulled another one, so I'm at two now. I'd probably play like three or four if uh, if I were to play it, just because you want to have the ability to like multiply switch at times. But Switch in multiple times. I've heard this card's really good. Uh, two for 30, and you attach two basics for your discard on one of your bench. That's pretty solid, actually. Like, could be like a good way to like attach more energy. I think it'll replace maybe Utah. Even though, at the same time, it could replace maybe Utah. I'll put it that way. Only because I think the one energy and the 130 is just way more important than the two is for one. Because uh, two energy for 30 in decks that don't play DC, it's kind of hard. But... Maybe in like even tall guard, you could play this instead and just attach DC to it, um, and you get to attach two, which is all right. I think I think that might be worth the trade off, but I think I think more testing will know that answer for sure. And another, uh, but yeah, basically, I've been playing this game since two thousand three, and the very first tournament that I remember was a Sandstorm pre-release. Pulling, I didn't pull any EXs, I don't think. At least in that tournament, I did it. But um, I saw this card in the trainer box, and basically, what they were saying to do with it is play Mallow with it. So you just top two energies, and then you discard the top three, and it's two hundred damage. Uh, it's niche. I think niche stuff works sometimes, and having three uh, four energy for is kind of. Not that good with read this to grass too. But I mean, who knows? Who knows? Pokemon's crazy like that sometimes. A reverse reg rescue stretcher, that's good. And another guard. Nice. I'm at three now, so I have enough for that. I just need a lay for it. 
Um, but yeah. Another. Oh, Wishy Washy. GX. One for 20, 3, 2 for 120 discard special. And then move all energy for this one on your bench. Uh, no, I don't think that's that good. Honestly, like, I just need so many energies. I just need so many energies. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Another type of melee. Nice. That's really solid. I'll take that. Regular art still, but hey, we take those. That's a two for uh, people counting it out. Ooh, same play. This card's interesting. Um, I think it's a lot more... I think it's a lot more feared than people that it really needs to be. Basically what it is, it's 60 HP, a dark energy, and you put your opponent can't play supporters. So the idea is basically when I try to play it with like Decidueye Plume, it just gets super locky to where they can't play items, they can't play supporters, they literally can't play anything. Um, I don't think that's realistic. I really don't think you'll pull it off as much as people think it, it might happen. Um, I do. What I do think this card is good for, though, if if only it was an attack. But basically, if you want to guarantee that they don't end you next turn, you can play this and just be like, you can't end me. Um, or like, you can't Lysander, you can't hex, or you can't do any of that this turn. Like, basically, they can shut down their only way to like lock game. Maybe I can see it being niche like that. But the only thing is, I don't think it'll be worth the spot because of that. Who knows? I could be wrong, but I, I I don't I don't think so. Like I think it has potential, but I don't know how much potential. Another drapa. I think about four of those for people counting at home. Uh, a gothito. Think about two of those. It's not very good. Uh, oh, Sylveon. This card's good. I oh okay. I think this card's good, but basically it's two hundred HP. Uh, Evolution GX, pretty standard. Uh, its first attack is one fairy energy. You search your deck for any three cards, up to three cards, and put them into your hand. You don't even have to get three cards. That's amazing. So basically, you can just attach it. Like basically, you attach it to fairy EV automatically gets Sylvia because of energy evolution, and then search for any three cards you want. They have to end you. They have to end you that turn. Otherwise, you just got a, you got a huge advantage from that. It's like Hollow Light. You have to end after the Hollow Light because they get such a huge advantage from it. But basically, that's just really strong. Like, basically, you have to end me turn one or turn two. Like, I hope you have it. Because <laughs> nine times out of ten, when if people put me in those situations, I don't have the end. I usually have to sick more. But... Its other two attacks are really good. Uh, a fairy and two color, double colors for 110. Very solid number. Uh, it's enough to two shot things. Uh, 200 HP is a good way to get kind of like in two shot range for things. Like basically, it'll be it'll be two shot. It'll be good to two shot in as well uh, by most decks, other than like Mega Ray or Metal, which I don't think there's gonna be much Metal. Uh, possibly Volcania can hit 200. They hit Choice Bands and stuff. Um, I'd have to honestly the numbers on that are kind of wacky. Uh, Resistance to Dark is nice because Dark is popular. I don't know how how popular it'll be with Field Blower, but only time will tell on that as well. And then SGX attack is really strong. Uh, basically, you take any two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and you just put it back in your hand. Put it back in their hand. So like, like let's say they're out of force and you're like, oh, I'll bring back both your Decidueyes. What? <laughs> what do they do? <clears throat> they can't do anything about that. Like that 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 can give you game in most in most instances. Something with like five energies, yeah, that's all going back to the hand. What do you do with five energies in your hand? It's something that you just have to drop and attach one to it. You've wasted that's five turns of commitment. I mean on that alone, but I mean the moral the idea is the same, but it'll either way it'll I think people will have to play differently against it because it will be strong. I think it's a lot stronger if you play into it. Like obviously, like if you ta like if you keep stuff in bench or whatever. I mean, obviously, they can lie sit on shade and do it, but still, I think the card's really strong. 
but I think it requires more testing to know for sure. And it also has the, the benefit of all the other evolutions. So, who knows? It'll be good. I think it'll be all right. I think, it, I think we'll, it'll seize the play, for sure. Uh, so we all got like 62 packs. Pretty good. Two Lele's. I'll take that. We take those. Another promo pass. Very solid. BDIF. No, it's not. Uh, another Sableye. A Solgaleo. Cool. And another Repulsa. I think about two of those. So that's not bad. Uh, another Rescue Stretcher. So like three or four of those. Along with this last, you can draw a card. Cobble as well with Malo. That's about it, though. Um, I don't know if it's going to be that good, but we'll see. Um, oh, a, goal, a Hyper Rare Vehicle Bowl. That's exactly what I want to see in my life. Sorry. Like I said, that card could be good, but I kind of doubt it. I've heard some people talking about this card, and I kind of like it. I think it's pretty good. So what it is, its ability reduces 30 damage uh, from anything, which is solid. 130 HP for stage 1 as a grass type. Grass is an alright typing for now. Um, we just have Volcania, kind of sucks, but again, who knows how big Volcania will be. But that's like the only fire that's really good. Uh, but its attack is pretty good. A grass with a double colors for 80, and if it's a GX or an EX, it does a 70 more, so 150. Obviously, a choice band that's 180, it's a one shot on most EXs and GXs in the format, other than like Decidueye and like Mega Ray. Um, but even then, with the ability, like, it could be niche. Uh, I like the fact that it just takes a grass and a DC. Um, but at the same time, it could not be strong enough. Like, I, I think it just depends on how the format shapes up. But it could be at a point where it's just not strong enough to beat some of the stuff, like Guardi or Mega Ray or Decidueye or any kind of bulkier GX or EX Pokemon. Um, the fact that it's one prize is really solid. But uh, again, I don't know. We'll see what ha we'll see how this one plays out. I think it could be a really strong contender, but only time will tell it when it comes to that. Okay, more stuff. Not very good, but I mean, again, they're done, so let's see. Oracorio. This one's different, and this one's actually pretty good. So it's 90 HP, so like level bullable, or um, I mean, obviously, just like normal Ultra Ball stuff. But its first attack is for each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile, you put a damage counter on any of their Pokemon in any way you like. So that's kind of nice for, like, let's say they have a lot of damage spread out. 50, like, 50 here would knock this out, 40 here would knock this out, they have, like, 9 Pokemon to discard, you can kill both. It's solid. Um, it's definitely something that a lot of people I don't think will see coming. And especially against decks like Vespaqueen, that card's really good against Vespaqueen. Uh, because they'll have, again, they'll probably want to stack it. If you play it in something like Mewtwo, where they have to stack it really high because it's, a, like, huge damage, you can just drop that attached to it and just drop like 20 damage counters anywhere and just win. Um, so, I don't know. It could be good. Uh, its other attack is, is not that good. If there's no stadium to play, it doesn't do anything. But it's just for the first attack. Weakness to dark kind of sucks. But uh, again, who knows? I think it'll be solid though, either way. That's at 120 HP Wilbur. Jeez, that is crazy. I didn't even notice that until now. 120 HP, are you kidding me? Uh, more choice man, that's good. And what does this card do? Not very good. All right, moving on. 54 packs left, pretty solid so far. Um, not bad at it at all. A lot better online than it has been in our actual boxes. We only pulled one Lele. We only pulled... One or two. Oh, Lycan Rock. Nice. This card, I think, has a lot of potential, too. I just don't know if it has it in our immediate format. So what it is, it's a stage one, 200 HP fighting. Its ability, whenever you play it, whenever you evolve it, you can bring up something. It's a Lysander, basically, but it's in an ability. But only when you drop it. So it's like basically like a Luxray GX, if you, if you were playing back in those times. I think this card 
is something that we kind of needed in this format. Because um, Luxray did a lot of bal check and balances in the format, too, where there was a lot of stuff like the Maya Plume, like a lot of other stuff like that, you know? So I do think that it's kind of nice to have something like this in this format. The only thing I worry about is that how weak it is to Decidueye. Um, and I just don't know if it's going to be strong enough to be by itself. Um, its attacks are all right. Fighting, you get a DCE for 110. Again, it can go into two-shot wars with, like, Sylveon can. Uh, the only difference is it can, it can pick its targets, which is kind of nice. Um, and then the other attack, it's GX attack, is uh, fighting a Colors for 50 times the number of bench Pokemon they have. That's pretty good. You'll probably one-shot something with that. You'll get a free two prizes out of it. You can pull it Thirsty Eyes to kill a Shaman. And then maybe, I don't know, because you would need a strong for that, though, because of resistance. But it's potential. It has potential either way. So I think it's one of those cards that you'll probably see. If with the situation rotates, I think a card's going to be amazing. Just say, just putting that out right now. Another Slay Slash. But I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. More junk. But, honestly, these packs have been pretty good so far. Uh, two Lele's. Oh, never mind, a third Lele. Alright, well, that's exciting. <laughs> uh, don't really know what else to say. That card's broken. Uh, three Lele's is incredible. Like, I wish we would have pulled this in real life. We would have done really well. Uh, another one of those. Yeah, it's not that good. Uh, I meant to... Go over that other card, that reverse card that I got. This card, multi switch. This, I think this card's really good. Um, so what it is is it's basically like a, it's basically like a white cyclone, but oh, I'm sorry, it's re it's reverse. So you can move energy back from the bench to your active. So and it's NA energy. So like double dragon, DCE, uh, strong energy or basic energy, but basically. It's really nice because, like, let's say you bring up something, or if they light a or something up, you can just multi-switch attached energy to your active, and then it gives you more outs to try to retreat out of it. Um, the other thing that you can do with that is, like, why cycle back and then move it back with uh, with this to be able to, like, stack it up if you need to, or even just, like, if you if you miss the energy attachment for the turn, you can still multi-switch and do it. It could be interesting. Uh, the only problem I have with this card, though, is I don't know how people are going to fit it in things. And I think it'll be interesting to see how people, what people decide to do uh, to try to fit this card in, or if they decide to at all. But I think that's going to be one of the biggest problems is trying to fit that card into decks. Another Honchkrow. And a Lunala. Uh. Like, like duds. There's some duds in this, but I, I can't be, I can't be too... Honestly, I could pull crap out of the X40 packs and I would not be too mad at it because I already got three Lele's, but um, we we'll definitely keep going because I do know there is some stuff that I kind of want to pull still. Uh, mainly, like... Honestly, what do I want to pull now? More GX stuff, like a couple more Lycan Rocks would be cool. This actually card is interesting too. So it's a Grass Trap in it, uh, so you can force it. And it's a DCE for 30 times the number of items they have in their hand. And they reveal it, obviously. But basically, it could be good because you can play it with Bioplume or you can play it like kind of in Expanded with Trevenant. Uh, like basically, you play it in the Expanded Trevenant, have a second Psychic on it, and just basically just do it for game. Uh, potential? I don't know if it's going to be worth anything, but like people could do that. Uh, but we'll see. Other attack is not that good. Two retreats not is better than other, I think it's better than the other Tremendous because I think the other one is three. And then we missed a fire, it's kind of booby. It's better than dark though. It's much better than dark, but still. Card's pretty decent, honestly. I can see people trying to play it with like plume and stuff and just trying to do it solo. Which it would be alright. But it's kind of not my thing just because. I think it's a little too weak, and it's relied on their opponent's hand. If you ever have to end them at any point, like that's probably gonna that's probably gonna affect your damage output uh, dramatically. But I don't know. People make weird stuff work all the time, so I would not be surprised at all. Another rescue stretcher. Okay, 
I probably should have said that I, I could pull 40 packs worth more, more, uh, more of bad stuff because I might have jinxed myself. We'll see. Um, this card's interesting, but I don't think it's that good. Basically, look at the top four for Dark. Uh, either player's deck can put it back in any order. So you can basically, like, let's say if you know they're drawing bad, you can look at the top four make sure they don't draw into something. It could be alright. Um, and then its other attack is you put all energy attached to it into, into your hand, and at the end of your opponent's next turn, the second Pokemon is knocked out. It sounds good in premise, but the thing is with these kind of th effects, like if they have any kind of switching effects or they retreat, it, does, it, it, it removes it. So it no longer becomes a defending Pokemon. So it's one of those things where I think this card will have a lot of opportunity. Like, I don't think it'll have a lot of opportunities to shine. Uh, the only way I can see it being really, really strong is if, like, let's say there's like a lock deck that. You just make sure that they don't draw anything. You always look at the top four. And you just always rearrange it to where they draw bad. But I, I, I just don't see it. Not in this format. There's just way too many ways to draw out of stuff. Um, yes, a Drampa GX. So good. Um, I feel like I should have been this excited for top moves. But um, I, like, I like this card too. I think this is like... If I had to have three best cards in this set, this would be my third. Uh, so it's 100 HP and fighting, fighting weakness. Uh, one energy for 20, and discard a special energy. That's really strong. Uh, like, for example, they like, try to Tauros you first turn, you just attach, discard their special. Um, and then they can, they, can, they can do it again, you know, they hit you for 90, discard their special. And they're just sitting there discarding all the resources. Like, that's really good. Um, its other attack is really strong, too. Uh, three energy for 80, and if, they have, if your bench has any damage counters on it at all, it does 70 more damage. So with a choice band, that's 180. Um, that's one shotting again, most GXs, most EXs. Uh, and it also has a very, very easy requirement to make. Basically, all you need to do is just, if they hit if they swing at something, you just need to retreat. Boom. You can one you can start one shotting stuff. That's easy. Or uh, I was thinking even people consider like playing rainbow energy. So like you attach a rainbow to something on your bench, 180. Um, could be alright. Depending on stuff, stuff like Decidueye, if they're playing like the, the techie version, they just play rainbows and it powers this. That could be strong. Uh, we'll see how if it's strong in testing though. And then its attack, its GX attack, I think is solid. Um, you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw ten cards. Which at the end of the game, if you know, like if you basically know that they don't have an end, you can just big wheel and just have everything you need for game next turn. Um, and if uh, the problem that I have with it, though, is if they do have the end, you're just going to look foolish. You just wasted your GX attack for nothing. But if they don't, you get game probably 99% of the time, which is pretty solid. Um, and some decks like Yuatal that only put the Tauros, it gives them kind of a variety of GX attacks. Um, but I think the, the card's so good either way. I think it'll see a lot of play. I think it'll be... I think it'll be kind of a forerunner in this format. Uh, going into certain decks, I think it'll be... It's easy tech, too. It's all colorless. So anything can play it. So I think it'll just be really strong. Uh, and I'm just really glad I pulled at least one. <laughs> and I pulled this. Even though I pulled plenty of Lelius, which is really solid. But we're not talking about that. That's a rare? Really? 90 HP is just three, 2 for 70? That's so awful. Uh, why do they make rares like that? It's just garbage. Okay, Hodgecrow, it's kind of eh. It's garbage. What does this do? If the defending Pokemon is knocked out during your next turn, take two more prize cards. Yeah, you're not knocking anything out with that card. Grandpa? And another card. So I think I'm at four now, so that's really solid. And they, obviously, you'd probably play like a 3 1 split because of the, the old one. I've heard some people play like a 2 2 and then like heavy rescue stretcher just to try to get it back, which I mean, that could work too. Um, I think testing it, I think testing will prove that answer. I think this card is interesting. It's a Dell buys, it's a basic, it's psychic, but it gives metal Pokemon 10 more damage whenever you drop it on the bench. So it's Dax. Interesting. Uh, like Scizor? Yeah, could be alright, but I doubt it. 
And it moved on. So pretty, pretty good card so far. Like pretty, pretty. Honestly, this has been really good. Metagross GX. Uh, I think this card has a lot of potential later. Uh, I don't think it's very good in this format right now, just because I think that the format's very slow for it. But it's one of those things where I do think that ultimately it'll have a place in some kind of format later on. And when it does have a place in the format, I'll be really excited because it reminds me of an old Metagross back in the day, back at Deoxys. If anybody knows what I'm talking about. Very, very, very strong card. And I think when the format slows down, if it slows down, it'll be a very strong card of that format too. So only time will tell, as it seems with a lot of things. Okay, more stuff. More, more just random stuff, which is fine, you know. Honestly, I can't hate what I've pulled so far. I've pulled a lot of stuff. This Oracorio is really good. Uh, so basically, whenever you play it from your hand, you can search your deck for any two basic energies and put it into your hand. So, like, a lot of people, well, some people would consider it like Volcania. Drop it, two energy, double steam up. Really good. Um, can play it in stuff like. Even like decks like Mewtwo, just like drop it, get the two energies attached, and attach one of them and have the energy for the next turn. Solid. Um, I feel like energy is something that is really, it can be hard to come by, and you can miss it a lot of the time, so having an Ultra Ball way to get it is kind of nice. Um, or like even like a Lella Ball, because it's 90 HP. But I think that card will be kind of niche. I think, it'll, I think you'll see it every now and then. You can even play a Guardian and just ditch it. Guardian has so many techs now in this format. Like this could be that card could be that that deck could be really strong. Uh, because it has a Sudowoodo, it's got the Oracorio, it's got Rat, it's got Halucha still, like and then you just ditch all of it. Dragonite, like that's really solid too. So I don't know, we'll see. Alright, uh, nothing exciting here. Rescue stretcher is nice. Another guard. We take those. And a gold max motion. Cool. Uh, I like gold stuff. In real life, I don't care for much for much online, to be fair. I will probably try to trade that away and hopefully get something nice out of it. But we will see what I can get for it. Cause some people do like gold stuff. And I respect that. Um, just me personally online, I just don't see a reason to. In person, sure. Like if I have it, I'll do it, but um Basically, I've always kind of just been in the means of playing. Like, I can't really for, like going to trips is hard enough for me. So, like getting gold shit, up, getting gold cards on top of it, it just, uh, it just, it's hard. It's really hard uh, financially. I got twenty seven packs left. Um, honestly, I'm still really pretty psyched. Uh, got really good stuff, really good cards out of all of this. So, pretty excited. Um, Definitely going to be able to show off some good decks with this. Um, I can definitely build, like, the Garminor deck is very, very buildable on this, and a lot of people are talking about online. Uh, Gardevoir will probably play, because I have the Lele's for it. Um, yeah. Basically, I'll be able to show off a lot of stuff, and that'll be really exciting. Um, and what I mean by that, basically, I will be streaming. Um, I will be streaming my testing for this format because I will be going to internationals. I hope to see a lot of you guys there. It'd be really, really exciting. Um, come up to me, say hi, you know. Um, in that tournament, absolutely, I'll be there. And I'll be at other tournaments as well throughout the course of next year. Uh, kind of put myself in a place financially to where I can actually start doing that. So that's kind of a good thing. I pulled another Metagross. Again, not good in this format, but... It'll be good in later formats, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, more Gothitelle, more random stuff. I mean, I'm at three Lele's. I don't know really what else to say. Out of 100 packs. Oh, full art Metagross. Woo, I have three now. I can try it. I think the card's solid. Like, the card's really good. I just, I don't know how fast it'll be. Like, I don't know how good it'll be in this format. Really. But... Who knows? I could be wrong. It could just be amazing. And then I have three of them, so that's good. <laughs> but another wish cash. Uh, pretty solid. Not really, but kind of. 
Nope. More junk. I like the ones in the flip too. Another Garbodor, so I have like five now. And it's Lazzle. I think this card's good. Um, so basically, whenever you evolve it, uh, it poisons and burns your opponent's active. So like, I know there was a card that did more damage for special conditions, and that's basically Flurry Ghost all over again. Um, which I like. I like the idea of Flurry Ghost a lot uh, because it was really strong. Um, a newer adaptation of that, if people don't know, is like Nine Tails of Mugus, if they've been playing it since Pack Bed. Kind of the same thing, uh, a little bit different though, because uh, that had like the ability to bright look and stuff, which was really nice. Uh, this is a little bit more, just kind of drop it. But that's even if the possibility if there's anything that does more damage for special conditions. I don't even know actually. So I have to look at some of the older sets, maybe see if there's anything I can combo with that. Otherwise, I mean, it's kind of niche. You just auto burn, auto poison. That's a forty damage auto. Um, now that they change the burn rule. So, it could be alright. It could be solid. But only time will tell. Another Oracorio. Nice. Down to 13 packs. Honestly, uh, it could be. This could be the last couple bits of things. I might get like one or two more GXs, I think, and then that'll probably be it. But I could be wrong, and I kind of hope I am. Uh, Polytoon. Search your deck for a Poliwag, Polyrub, Polyrath, put on your bench. Kind of sound like Polytoon stuff. That was actually kind of my first, one of my first competitive decks was the E-Reader, uh, Polyrath and the E-Reader Polytoon together. It, was, it wasn't really something that was like very well, like, that did well, but it was something that, it was my first for leagues and stuff. Another Vikavolt, I'm pretty sure I have four of those now. I pulled at least three of them out. So I pulled three. And I pulled three in real life. So that's cool, I guess. I just wish I would have pulled, actually pulled three top of my list in real life, which I did not. Another Gold Sabad, that's pretty good. Uh, I think that card's decent, again. But it may just be too, it might be too weak, honestly, even with the ability. But I have plenty of these these two choice band and field blower, which is amazing. Out of 100 packs, I mean, that's kind of expected, to be fair. Um, but. A Victory Star Victini. I had heard that they were printed this card in that set, in this set, which. Will it matter? Who knows? Only time will tell. Uh, it's only for attacks, though, so like Hammer. I know Hammers are important right now, but they don't really. It doesn't do it for that. Uh. There's not much that really goes off of coin flips right now, so I don't see this card being good, but there might be something later that could be good with it. Honestly, who knows? But down to the last couple packs here. A bit of If this card was a D if this second attack was a DC, that could actually be really strong. But it's not. It's a psychic and I call this. So it could be really strong and expanded though with D, with D Valley, so that could be really strong. Just like attach psychic and then just copy cat whatever attack, but it only copies the last attack they used, so that might that might not be as good as I think it is. But like maybe I don't know. I don't know actually. I think that either way, it's probably just not going to be worth it. Okay, okay, Goro, the card is not good. Alright, moving on. I have four packs left. I might not hit any more GSs, which I would I would not be I would I wouldn't be bad, but I wouldn't be happy about it either. I mean I I I, I I'm thrilled, regardless, but just like it was the fact that I was like twelve. Oh no, no, this will be on. Alright, cool. Um yeah, I'm pretty content with these. Last two packs can be whatever they want. Honestly, give me something though, because why not? Another ray. We, we take those. We definitely take those. And another garment of Eco Bolt. That's cool, I guess. I have like four of them. Is this the last one? Yep, this is the last pack. Anything? No. Alright. That was all for that. Um, very, very exciting.